Tonight on the 4 o'clock news, we will be exploring how Pittsburgh doctors use the science and technology of STEM to treat sleep apnea patients. Sleep apnea is a sleep disorder that affects 1 in 15 people or 18 million Americans including men, women and children of all ages. But thanks to STEM, this disease is being cured. What are the most common treatments for sleep apnea? There are several treatments for sleep apnea. The most common is CPAP, which is a mask that the patient wears at night while they sleep. Some other options are dental repositioning devices, nasal bridging, but the most common is the sleep apnea CPAP mask. The biggest harm to the patient could be something called sudden cardiac death, where the person has an irregularity to their heart rhythm that causes them to stop breathing and die. I think it's important to get your care locally and by physicians that you can trust and get good advice from physicians that you know well. Is Pittsburgh unique in sleep apnea treatment in any way? Uh, I can think of two ways that it may be. One is that there is a company in Pittsburgh that uh, began here called Risperonics and they do a lot of uh, making the equipment that treats sleep apnea, uh, the CPAP equipment. Um, and they're certainly, they were started I believe here in Pittsburgh or at least developed here. And the other thing I can think of is there's a, um, a doctor who practices uh, at UPMC, his name is Dr. Seuss, uh, and he actually uh, is doing a nice trial with uh, a stimulator that stimulates patients to breathe uh, at night, um, which is a new trial um, involved. I think it is a national trial, but it's a, he's doing that in Pittsburgh as well. Which is, uh, well, I think there's a lot of experience uh, in the Pittsburgh area in all of the health systems. I think uh, it's a, an important problem. Um, and. Um, with more experience and with the specialists that we have, uh, we pretty much uh, have so many specialists in the area that I think people can feel confident that they're getting the best care when they see their doctors. The reason is, is because uh, we know occlusion. Once they've had their sleep studies done, and if it's, if it's obstructive sleep apnea, then uh, orthodontists uh, know where to put the teeth and how far to move them and then decide whether a, an appliance is going to work or surgery is needed. Well, uh, the, the first thing that's done in most cases is it, it's, uh, it has to be a diagnosis of whether or not it's uh, obstructive sleep apnea or if it's central sleep apnea. The ones that we can treat uh, uh, with appliances and jaw surgery would be the obstructive sleep apnea, most often caused by the relaxation of the soft tissues. Central sleep apnea is more of a neurological problem. It deals with the brain uh, not being able to feed the muscles um, in the upper part of the throat. Yeah, that's an easy question. <laughs> uh, but it is becoming more and more popular for orthodontists to be treating uh, sleep apnea patients. Me. I make it unique. <laughs> uh, well, um, I, I think for me, uh, uh, as an orthodontist, um, uh, what makes my practice unique is that, um, number one, when I treat, I look at facial profile first. And then I go from tre treating facial profile to straightening the teeth. I think that's what sets our, our practice apart from most practices. I went to Bellevue. The Allegheny Jenner Bellevue sleep study, which that was good. And then I, they, they referred me to Dr. Tatilla's his name, the surgeon, and Tatilla referred me to Dr. Dehar or vice versa, you know what I mean? Because those guys work together. So I just was frustrated and I couldn't wear the machine no more, tired, didn't feel good, my body hurt. Went and seen Dr. Tatilla and he said, there's this surgery and, and, and we did it and I feel great and it worked. I'm a totally different person. Thanks to all the wonderful doctors using STEM here in Pittsburgh, we can sleep happy at night. That's it for the 4 o'clock news.